Welcome everyone, welcome to another Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be playing, finally, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I was hoping to play this before I went to the US, um, more than two months ago now, um, but unfortunately the, uh, the release got delayed a little bit and I wasn't sent the key until pretty much a few days after I arrived in the US, so... <laughs> I'm a bit late on this, but uh, yeah, people like the previous uh, series on Car, Simu uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, I think it is. And now we're going to play the 2018 version where I babble a lot and, well, just do a lot of silly stuff. Anyway, let's start a new game. For some reason, it says if I want to delete the current progress and start over even when I hadn't touched the game at all. Of course, I have touched it now, but only to make sure that it'll record properly. So, I haven't really done anything otherwise. So, everything will be blind, everything will be a first reaction, just how you like it. And there's no stupid overreactions on my channel, you know that. Unless, of course, it's for, uh, you know parody purposes. Oh no, I'm so scared. It's a horrible game. Greeting. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. See the new fully unlocked garage and check the operation of the various parts of the workshop. At any time you can finish the tutorial by taking the car for a test drive. Oh, a fully unlocked garage. Maybe I'm not sure I want to see that because it'll it'll um show us everything that we can unlock later probably. Anyway. Oh. Here you can make improvements that you obtain together with gaining further levels. Ooh, that's actually quite a lot of stuff here. I like that. Also, I I really hope the um, the music... Is, oh. oh, tire changer wheel balancer. That's cool. You used to mount the tire on the rim and then balance the entire wheel. Oh, look at that. That is cool. So you actually do that now. I like that. Cool. Okay. Oh. Balance, balance wheel, or take parts from wheel balancer. That's cool. I like that. Uh, the game definitely looks a lot prettier now. What's this? Toolbox. First aid kit. Do we need that? <laughs> oh, wow. You can actually read the uh, safety instructions. That's pretty cool. What's this stuff? Fire escape. Oh, path test. Allows you to t uh, test the car's brakes and suspension. Oh, it's like before then, I guess. Yeah, you don't actually do anything. That's unfortunate. Oh, so that's here, and the fire escape... Oh, fire extinguisher inside, that's what it says. Repair table. It gives you a chance to repair worn-out parts. We know that. Okay, what else is here? Yeah, the game... Uh, there were a lot of complaints about the game not being optimized properly, and I can still see that even after the uh, patches. Um, it, it is a little choppy, which is a little silly on my system. Uh, order. Press the right mouse button and select order from the pie menu. Then select the order that you're interested in and accept it. When you accept the selection of the order, the car automatically appears on your driveway. Oh, you buy cars. I thought it was parts. Okay. Using the menu pie, after approaching the car, you can view the car card. Okay. There's the phone. So that's for the order. There are no more jobs right now. Oh no. That's the order. Okay. Computer. Using the computer you can obtain new parts. Okay. Hopefully you can get a tablet as well, because that's a bit far away. There's a radio. Change station. Next song, turn off radio. That's cool. Yeah, I hope all of this music is license free, because otherwise <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's free, just like before. There's the toolbox. Wow. I like that. There's a lot of stuff to upgrade, and hopefully it's not just... Um, how do I get out of this? Escape. Oh, there's the oil drain. Allows the dispos uh, disposal of used oil. Failure to use it can result in additional charges for cleaning spilt oil. Would be funny if uh, you had to clean it yourself and it actually... You actually slipped on it. Allows storing parts which you don't need. Along with growing demand, you can increase the warehouse area. Interesting. That's the parts. Okay, we don't have anything there, obviously. This is Oh, this is the spray painting shop. Offers you the possibility to perform various painting works. That's cool. Alright, I can actually see it. Yeah, this is all unlocked. That's kind of unfortunate, because we see everything. Oh, that's the test area. Why was the entrance to the test area back there, then? All the way over at those red doors. It's kind of odd. Wait a second, this is not the brake test area, this is a dyno. 
This is Dynameter, look. Okay. And it's set up for uh, all-wheel drive cars as well. Interior detailing toolkit allows you to repair and touch up elements of the car's interior. <gasps> you can do interior now. Oh, wow. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, that is cool. Wow, there's even an upstairs area. There's a computer here as well. Okay, that's where we buy stuff. There's another computer, nothing else here. <clears throat> yeah, the, the game doesn't run completely smoothly, which is... Oh, there's the welder. Allows you to repair the elements of the bodywork, which cannot be removed. Um, yeah, this game really should run on Ultra on this system, but... Well, unfortunately, it don't. Main gate map. Using the map, you can choose where you want to drive. What? Select the track that has the auto. Or the car. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's check out the cars. I think I've checked out everything now. So we've got an... An Audi. Obviously, it's not an Audi, but... Wait, can you actually... Oh, cooling. Um, it's an Audi, what? Three. With four exhausts. That's like an S3, then. Wow. Nice. Alright. Oh, yeah, of course, I can't uh, get in. Click to use, because it's on these, um... On the lift. How do we lift it? Used to lift cars. Gives you access to the chassis and the bottom of the engine that is inaccessible for a car standing on the driveway. Let's try it. You know, I have to do that. Oh. Oh, okay, it's good two modes now. Interesting. There we go. That's pretty cool. That should be a 2 liter 4 pot. Well, in the S3, yeah. The S3 does have a 2 liter 4 pot with about 300 something horsepower, I believe. Um, and then we have an old something with a V8 engine. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Alright. Wait, how do I get out of this? Uh... No. Examine mode, parts, notes, inventory. No. How do I get out of this? Escape. Okay. Because usually it was just uh, right click. Now it seems I'll have to click on escape. Alright. Let's go for a test drive, shall we? Uh, there. Let's get this car back down. Alright. Abandoned airport, parking, your garage, car salon. Test track, junkyard, car auctions, racetrack. That's cool. It would be actually cool if you could drive this entire way. Let's go with the test track. Bolt Cape or Mayan M3. 4x4. Why is it 4x4? That should be all wheel drive. And no, that's not the same thing. Um, mm, let's take the V8. Cannot start engine. Darn it. No oil in the engine. Okay. Well, let's put the oil in the engine then. No! No! Bring it back down! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the game certainly looks a lot prettier than before. How do I get the car down now? Click to use. It's kind of weird. Even if I move my mouse just a little bit, I can hear my shoes scraping on the floor. Right. Uh, click to focus on part, hold to take off part. Oh. Oh, like that. Okay, there we go. Ah! It's the Supo Oil. Premium motor oil. Number one in the world. It looks a little nicer than before. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, escape. It's a little bit annoying that you have to click escape. Uh, right. Let's try the car now. Let's go to the test track. Alright! Let's do this, shall we? <laughs> yeah. We'll see how this works. Oh yeah, loading is a lot nicer now. Used to check the performance of the car. Test the car's steering, suspension, and braking. Alright. Well, if this is an S3, it should be a very, very quick car. Oh, I can't look around anymore. Okay.
Yeah, that's a very f Yeah! Ugh. Also handles a lot better than in the previous game. Yeah, that's a lot nicer. Oh, this is so much cooler! This is so much more fun than before. Oh my god. Oh, I was supposed to, I was supposed to stop there. Well, fortunately, there's still no damage being done to the car. Finish tutorial and start the game. Yes. Wow, that was so much nicer than before. Also, the loading times, you know, there's still loading times, as you can see, and hopefully this still gets recorded, otherwise I'm just babbling into nothing. And you won't have heard that part that I've just babbled about. Um, wow, yeah, that was so much nicer. So this is our starting garage. Alrighty. Can you hear me mending my hands? Or rubbing my hands together, actually. Not mending, that was stupid. Um, right, let's start this. There's some tires here. Pretty, whoa. What are those, 270? No, they look like 235, 245, maybe. Well, that's impossible to tell in a game, anyway. Right, so, let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, 265,000 kilometers. That's, that's how much my car has right now. Thereabouts, I think. Uh, normal order. Repair with minimal parts condition. Emden lots. What is that? Oh, that's another car. Okay. I thought it was this was a part of this car. What's this? Oh, there's a time limit on these to take them. Poor brake for, for, for... Poor brake performance. Oh, man. And there's no loading time for this. Oh, that's so amazing. And this one has no... Uh... Oh, a year and a half ago, I bought my son this car. He said that he's not interested in anything except filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil in the tires. Well, that's... His son is not going to have the car for a long time, then. Right, so, poor brake performance. How do we put it on the... Click to use. Click to hold. Okay. Parts notes, inventory, car status, interior, disassemble. Let's disassemble the interior. Move car, there. Uh, car lifter. Oh, car lifter A. Whoa, B, C. Test path, parking, paint shop, garage entrance. That's cool. <clears throat> oh, it's so much nicer that there's no loading time. Oh, uh, oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Well, it's been for a while now. There's my country, Slovenia. Uh, I cannot believe they actually do that. Sneaky little bastards! They take your country of origin and 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 put it on there. <laughs> it even has the European li well, it's it's an American license plate but with the European markings. That is funny. Wow, this thing is just yeah. Wow. All right, poor brake performance. Let's let's take those wheels off, shall we? There's a list list provided anyway. So uh yeah. So anyway, I can't decide. Should I continue speaking in a semi-British accent? I know I never had a proper British accent, but um, now that I've been in the U.S. so much, I kind of, you know, I kind of started speaking, you know, in a more of a more of an American accent. So I don't know if you prefer that or uh, if you just want me to to keep speaking like like. Well, I, I you know, if I'm gonna move to the U.S., I'm probably gonna get that accent sooner or later. So. <laughs> Let's, let's keep it, you know, sort of natural for me right now. Um, and then, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, this is so much nicer. <clears throat> I right, take the brake caliper off. Obviously, this is a lot slower at the moment because we haven't anything upgraded. Uh, brake disc, yeah, that's, that's just junk. Alright. Oh yeah, escape. And it, I also like the fact that you can actually uh, hear the... Oops. You can actually hear the uh, pneumatic uh, screwdriver now. Well, this is already a lot nicer than before. Um, I've also put the link to the game down in the description, by the way. On Steam, if you want to get it yourself. 
But so far, I'm quite happy with it. Um, a little bit slightly disappointed in the optimization, like a lot of people, but I guess they're they're still working on that. All right, let's get this done. Because the rear brakes, I think, it's probably oh no, it has vent, uh, it has discs, not br drum brakes, so that's cool. All right, there's the brake pads. It looks a lot nicer than before, that's for sure. I wish it didn't fade out when you press escape. There we go. Oh my god, these alloys as well. They're all rusty. How would that even happen? Holy crap, holy. Oh, let's get that out of the way. The brake pads. Now, I, I don't know how the brake pads have to look. Oh, the brake pads are... Well, they're probably... Uh, oh, this is the rim and the tire. Okay. <clears throat> So there, the brake pads are pretty much done, yeah. One, two... Oh, well these are okay. How do I get to the cars? Let me see, is it still O? No, it's not. The job thing. Inventory parts, no, it's car status. Power curve. Oh, you even have a power curve, a power curve and a torque curve. That's pretty cool. Uh, brake pads, two pads, two discs, and a ventilated disc. Okay. So, rim shop, main shop, body shop, license, oh, license plate, interior shop, and tire shop. Okay, so we need pads. Oh, you can actually select how many now. Um, disc. Two brake discs. I can just do this and a ventilated disc. And I think that's it, right? I believe that was it. Pads, pads, disc, disc, ventilators. Okay. So. Uh, how do I do... Part mount. There we go. Okay, so... Ventilated. How do I... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, that looks nice and shiny, doesn't it? And a nice and shiny di uh, pad. Brake calipers can be the usual one condition. What's this? Color. Brake caliper cylinder? What? 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 What's going on? Brake caliper. But obviously needs a brake caliper. Wait. I don't... Okay, it needs a brake caliper cylinder, yes. Okay. Well, gotta learn this stuff now. Okay, can do the tire now. Or the rim with the tire. It's a little bit different than before. Oops. Oh, I just noticed I'm doing what I do in real life, you know. Never go one after another. You have to do it in a star-like pattern so you don't... Uh, you know, uh, so so the tire sits on there nicely. You don't torque it too much on one side or the other. Um, break this ventilated. Oh, that one's still okay, I guess. Even though I would never do this on a car. If you're changing the brake discs, then bloody hell. You need to change them both. Otherwise, the car is going to pull to one side sooner rather than later when the other disc gets worn out. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. And hopefully you're enjoying this as well. And of course, you know, I always babble on these. So, that's a bonus! Or probably a curse. I don't know. But can I still do one, two, three? No. Hmm. That's a little bit disappointing that you can't just do, you know, press two for um, mounting, one for unmounting, and so on and so forth. That's a nice looking disc. Brake pads. Brake caliper. So that's interesting. Now there's, you know, one part actually com is comprised of two parts, but you only mount one part. You know, at a time. Obviously, if this was real, you wouldn't be torquing this down to spec uh, all the way. You would be putting these on... Um, well, they don't do that in the shops, but the, the best way to do this is to torque them a little bit so they're all 
fit snugly and then use a torque wrench to to torque them to the proper spec but you have to lower the car so though the tires don't you know aren't lifted up into the air but they're somewhat touching the ground so they're not squashed by the full force by the full weight of the car but they're you know they're just snugly um on the floor eh, i'm not probably explaining that right but anyway i'm kind of a stickler for those things so i like to you know i like to um baby things i own usually if i drive a car it doesn't matter if it's mine or you know or a car someone else owns i'll be so careful not to uh you know rev it up when it's cold and blah 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 i don't know all right there we go that car should be done let's see uh, money spent, task bonus, job bonus, total payout. Cool. And that's done. Global body condition. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, finish order. Nice. Dirty hands. Achievement. All right, let's get the next one. Hopefully the uh, music isn't too loud. So, a year ago and a half. Okay, so he just wants the, the oil and the tires checked. Oh, this is so much nicer. There's no loading, you know, for like three and a half years. Um, move the car? The car lifter? That's like, that's a Golf. A fairly new Golf as well. I think that's the latest model. Mm, well, it's difficult to tell, but it looks like it has LED um, lights. It looks like it has LEDs in the back. Of course, this is a little bit different because they don't, they can do, you know, license stuff but yeah with the um chrome exhaust fake exhaust well this one doesn't seem to have fake ones uh it seems to be the latest model anyway they said check the oil how do we do that can we use the dipstick uh where is the dipstick there it is oil well, dipstick how do i wait there's no oil Okay, there's no bloody oil. Good. Oh, wait a second. I'm an idiot. I thought the black part was the handle. No, that's oil. It's below the minimum. And it's pretty dark. So, uh, yeah, we'll be changing that. Oh, yeah. I have to press escape. Let's lift it up. Man, I am enjoying this. What about you? Let me know down in the comments below whether you're enjoying this and my babbling if not let me know and i'll shut up and we'll just have a silent let's play <laughs> right, let's move the equipment oh you can actually move it like oh you don't have to position it yourself anymore that's kind of cool okay use equipment oh you don't even have to oh it's kind of a shame you don't have to uh unscrew it anymore oh well <coughs> excuse me it's a lot faster that, that's for sure so how do i check the tires now i mean they're in fairly poor condition but examine tools examine mode oh yeah that's 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 not good at all can be examined by an tire tread tester okay part mount part unmount okay so let's take them off We'll probably have to either replace them and or um, center them. There we go. Let's take all the tires apart. Well, not apart, just down. It's the lot rim. Yeah, unfortunately a lot of people um, don't really take care of their cars. Um, you know, oil changes and such. It's very important, though. People say, oh, my car still runs, and I've gone, like, 30,000 miles without an oil change. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be facing some major problems with your engine later on. Or soon. It's really not nice. Um, you know, it, it's, not just a, it's not just a trick, a ploy to get your money. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that gets into the engine oil, including little uh, steel and other chips from the engine because it doesn't have enough lubrication. Right. 
Let's try the tire thing now. So the wheel balancer. How do we... How do we do this? I mean... I don't necessarily want to... Install a tire, separate a tire. So how do I check it? It said that it can be checked with a special thing. How much... What's the lowest the tires can be? Global body... Change oil, drain old, and refill with new. Standard tire B. Fixed. Air filter, fuel filter. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's the lowest amount? Repair with minimal parts condition, 100%. Okay, yeah. So they want the tires changed. All right. Let's separate parts. That's so cool. All right. Come on. Okay, that's automatic. Let's go. Boop. Take. Okay, more. Balance. Nope, I'm not gonna be balancing these. It probably costs me. You know, this would be very cool, actually. Let me let me see that. So we've got 4042. So if I separate one. No, it doesn't actually cost me to do the things, but it would be cool if it did. So you would have to actually think about, you know, using these things. All right, there's the last one. I like the music as well. That's so cool. Alright, so we've got the tires now. And now we'll have to buy new ones. So what kind does he want? I mean... Oh yeah, I should have... I should have checked the... Uh, body shop, tire shop. I should have checked what kind of tires. Oh, they're just called race tires, slick tires, and so on and so forth. Okay. <laughs> Let's give him vintage tires. Um, I thought we would have to check the actual... Um, let see. 205, 55R60. Uh, I mean, 55R16. Um, this is pretty small alloys, actually. Standard tire B. So where's the standard tire B? Okay, there we go. Ah, now that is cool. You actually have to select which ones. 205 is 55 R16, right? That is cool. I like that. Oh man, that is so much improved and so, so much more realistic. All right, now let's put these babies on there. Yep, that one with the new standard tires. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know why I get so excited about these things. There. Let's put a new one on. Yes. What's that? Safety instructions, which have been crossed out. <laughs> they don't like them. There. A new one. Oh, no, no, no! What am I doing? <laughs> no, I'm taking off the new tire. Ah, yeah. I'm clicking too fast. See, that's that's stupid. Okay, put it on. There. Put it on there. That's what she said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, in the meantime, we can balance. Wait, why is this not at a hundred percent condition? There we go. Let's do that in the meantime. Do we have to actually repair the rims as well? Probably not. So what's the, what's the condition? Why is it not showing me anything? It would have to actually show me where I need to put the thingies on. The weights. What, was that it? Uh, I guess that's it? Oh, there we go. I see. They need to be, um... They need to be, uh... Centered. That's cool. Okay, I believe that's all of them. Yep. Yeah, now in a real machine, uh, the guy would put the tire on and, you know, let this spin, and the computer senses there's a there's a very specific... I mean, there's a very... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, ugh, a very... Um, oh, God, I apologize. It's just left me. It's a very sensitive sensor. That's what I'm looking for. And it senses 
how much the thing the thing is um, you know jiggling about and by the way it's jiggling it knows which side needs to be have how big of uh, one of these little devices and the guy will open this up and he will rotate the tire until you know th there'll be a little like arrow here which will show him exactly where he needs to put the uh, the weight and it'll show him on the screen when he's at the right part and then he'll take one of these and put them uh, onto the side of the rim it's a it's a pretty ingenious system it's very simple but of course this you know this just does it itself <clears throat> we don't have to do anything we just have to put the tire on there so that's pretty cool we've uh, centered the tires yeah this is a lot more involved than it was in the previous uh, car mechanic simulator and I like it I don't know what's that up in the upper right corner there's a little arrow going up and a one that's probably a talent point we can use to uh, to buy something I'm assuming let's see uh, yep upgrade no available skill point zero not sure what that is then all right now let's put these uh, tires back on yeah there we go that's gonna be a lot nicer now and they are all um, centered all right Oh, I have to do that every time? Part? Mount? I'll have to check the um, key bindings. There must be a key bind for that. So I can just press the key and it'll go to the uh, to the whole mount thing. Can I go over there? Yes, I can. Put these on. Oh well. Now let's go to the other side. Mount it. And then we have to change the oil filter, the fuel filter, and add the new oil. Now the oil filter should be down here at the... Oh wait. Oh, this is the rear. Uh, there's the oil filter. Let's take that off. Oh no, they also want... Yeah, they also want an air filter. So... I want a filter. Oh, that's so much nicer. It automatically gets rid of the, uh, the stuff. Air filter. I4B. It probably has one of these, but I'm not gonna buy it until I see. Um, oil filter I4. That's what I need. And a fuel filter, I believe they want as well, right? So let me just buy one for now. Alright, not sure where the fuel filter will be, might be at the back here, where the fuel tank is, but let me see if I can do this, car status, I can do, oh no they don't want, yeah they do want the fuel filter, there, so the, so okay it's up there, but of course we have to f add the oil filter first, it is the new one perfect let's lower the car on its nice new tires now and the rusty chassis bloody hell <laughs> all right so there's the oil filter let's take that out put the new one in see before i just pressed two re real quick and you know that was it now let's take the uh fuel the air filter off oh yeah it's still these clips you have to take out take off really well so far I'm really enjoying this oops there now we can take the cover off and there's the air filter so what is it just the normal one yeah it's just the standard air filter there it is one of these please and then we add the oil and that will be it oh no 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 Oops. Put that there. And the new one. Cover. And then the bloody pins. Can I just press enter? No. I have to click on the thing. There. Alright. 
And now, of course, the oil. Oh yeah, let's do this. Alright. That should be it. Let's check the dipstick now. No, not part mount. Yep, see, that's nice and lovely oil. Fill to the middle, where it should be. You don't want to overfill your engine, because that can cause just as many problems. And that should be it for this car. There we go. Task bonus, money spent, job bonus. Nice, finish order. Lovely. Well, that's fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really enjoying this already. I hope you're as well. Ooh, engine stand. Oh. Rotate engine, add engine into crates. Oh, wow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Do check out my Patreon. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid to comment and share this video. And upvote it. Like it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.